one more distressing and heartbreaking news, especially for myself being a little bit of a fanboy of this guy's music and the crew that he was associated with or part of we i have learned over the last couple of days that hypo one of the main figureheads in Mashtown, a Hackney-based drill, rap, garage, whatever band or group you'd want to call them, who I was utterly obsessed with when I was coming up in school, has unfortunately been murdered. Absolutely horrible. And this is courtesy of um, the Daily Mail, it says here, right? Yeah, yeah, the Daily Mail. Um, Man 32 charged with murdering Emil Sunday's rapper ex-boyfriend Hyper, which I hate them saying in the headline because he was a legend in his own regard being a rapper. He didn't need to be associated with Emily Sander, even though I know she's super famous, I get it, but this is a little bit disrespectful. But we continue. The Fernando rapper was stabbed to death during a fight at the Platinum Jubilee party, which is crazy yeah, over the weekend. Um, a 32 year old man is due to appear in court charged with the murder of Emil Sandy's rapper ex boyfriend Hypo. Laurie John Philippe from Enfield, North London, is accused of caught killing the performer whose real name is Lamar Jackson shortly after midnight on Friday. Jackson, 39, whose tracks include Flex on My Ex, First Night, and No L's, was stabbed to death at a party in uh what's it thing called in woodford green um east london john philippe was arrested on saturday and will appear alongside uh, at barkinside magistrates court on monday charged with murder and petition of the bladed article allegedly they're saying that this this murder of a guy who killed hypo r.i.p the flipping goat was a security guard which is absolutely insane how a security guard can get into a scuffle with quote-unquote the talent that would lead to him stabbing him it's just bizarre but anyway we continue um John, twisted party goers are said to have filmed the fight which is natural especially in london people are flipping you know the madness that i've seen in parties when when actual craziness is going on is just unbelievable with at least one recording at the moment medical officers attempted to resuscitate the rapper before callously sharing a clip online sparking fear on social media hypo recently got engaged had reportedly got into a trivial row at the party being held in a large marquee before being fatally stabbed so a random, so what? They were arguing over football or something, cr crazy. Which led to his death, crazy, isn't it? Um, obviously pictures of him and Sandy back in the day. Pictures of him, how he most recently looked that way. It continues here. Um, in the hours before his death, the leading figure of Mashtown Rappers Collective, based in East London, filmed himself being driven in the Bentley on the way to the event. An Instagram story shared with his 23,000 plus followers. The performer is only known by stage name, later filmed himself rocking sunglasses and smoking while dancing inside. Scottish singstress Emily um, and Hyper dated for a year before splitting in 2017. In March 2016, they enjoyed a trip to Jamaica together with a source. At the time, came he had given the Aberdeen Bonsai a whole new wave of inspiration. Hyper grew up in Islington, North London. is said to have had a traveled path but pals have said he mellowed out in recent years as he focused on his music career. Tributes have poured in from friends and fans online in the wake of his news of his death. Hypo is a pioneer in the industry, said one year a fan on Twitter. Met him a couple of times. He was a clean-hearted guy. The world is crazy. Another said, RIP Big Hypes. Very sad news to wake up. We lost a real one. One described the death as a tragedy, adding in his Instagram story, he's just living the best life, having fun. Later the same day was taken and it's taken from him. And of course, this is you know what Hypo was on back in the day. But yeah, um, it's troubling and it's upsetting on one side, but it's also, I would say, not surprising because I would say the unfortunate side of like being a bad man and being on it and being about that action and always being on go time is that sooner or later, someone's going to test you a gangster. That's the unfortunate side of things. But it's also pretty clear to me, especially as somebody who hasn't actually been a gangster himself, that the people who actually are on that time they always end up in jail or they always end up dead. And the other exception is that they end up looking like Young Spray. If you've seen Young Spray in real life, he legitimately looks like a child um, soldier. Like he's covered in scars. Like he looks like he's been through the wars legitimately. Like that guy has lived like a life. Yeah, I mean, he must have stories upon stories upon stories about being chased, about being stabbed, about being rushed. About, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's been through it. Um, in and out of prison, all that sort of stuff. So you end up either being you know you ever either been dead you ever end up being in jail or you end up looking like young spray where you legitimately have lived a hard life but it's very rarely that you're a bad man you're a wicked man you're on that kind of time and you're still about just living life it doesn't happen the, only, the other example of somebody who i was again a big fan of which i don't know why i have a, an affinity or likeness for these type of rappers but another one of my favorite grammy MCs coming up was escobar right and he was from a crew called slew them and i used to see him all the time around like leighton stone forest gate east stam stratford that kind of area and he was always on go time. Like he'd be walking up and down with his head cocked up like, 
looking at anybody, staring in, like looking for too long. It'd be a situation, but he was always on go time with legendary stories about him fighting everybody. And eventually that caught up with him too, because someone tested his gangster and boom, he ends up passing away. And I think that's just the unfortunate nature of being that kind of person. And it, feel, and it looks like if you're that person, it's very rare that you just kind of dial it back and become like a normal dude. You always have that little bit of a rage in you that can kind of just go at any time. And because you know you're actually on that time, you look at everybody else like donuts. I mean, everyone else is a neek to you. Like, how the dare you even speak to me? Do you know who I am? Do you know what work I've done? Do you know what, what I've put in? Do you know what blood I've spilt? for this thing and now you're coming up to I mean like you don't get it it can't process for you man so that's why we have to give people like 50 cent weird example but people that have to get given their flowers because it's very rare that you go from being go time guy action dude to suddenly transitioning into just being like a businessman it's very strange that that happens you can kind of just turn it off because it feels like most people can't turn it off um but also maybe it's just a strap envy thing that might be no situation it might just be like hypo was legitimately one of the most you know him and asco again from 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 mash town um you know force and prayers go out to asco being in prison hearing the news of hypo being stabbed and dying and shit. that must be horrible to learn you know one of your crew members has passed away in prison like that but him and asco were the two we sort of say bossiest like flossiest kind of rappers in the uk and people that I see in real life who are driving like lambos and bentleys and had like american style chains on it was just wild to see in real life like god damn it diamonds dancing i mean just like living that best life who knows how they got their money i'm not interested i don't give a fuck but just watching it from the outside in as a fan was crazy to see and again you know with asco he ends up in prison because he's you know being been accused and found guilty of running an international running a county lines drugs crew or line whatever operation and then of course hypo at a flipping jubilee party gets stabbed to a point where he has to die it's just flipping sad and really crazy to see that happening in real time but R.I.P. Hyper, man, honestly, legitimately one of my favorite rappers coming up and personalities overall. Um, always loved his energy, always loved what he brought to Mashtown. Um, again, Mashtown, I think, were a very underrated crew overall. They definitely didn't achieve the success I felt like they should have achieved, especially for the um, level of talent they had in their crew. Um, but yeah, man, gone but not forgotten to the legend that is Hyper. Gone but not forgotten.